We just had some decent rain move through, so I had to come out here and show you kind of how this looked right at the moment. That's what it is after the burn, and then uh, a little bit of sanding after that. I'm thinking some linseed oil, or we may just go ahead and go with some, um, like some clear decking polyurethane or something maybe. Something that'll, uh, something that'll still be safe for the chickens and all that. You can see where we added an extra board here, and then after we went ahead and burnt these, this here has not been sanded yet. And then we'll go around over here, and you can really see how that side there looks. Uh, that side there we went ahead and burned and sanded. They give it that really nice look, and it also protects it bottom where we burned and kind of started to burn a little bit and then I gotta get some more propane those three spots up there will be the vent still have yet to figure out exactly what color I want to trim stuff in if we're just gonna go ahead and stick with the white here or um, the tin I've got is kind of almost a creamish kind of a khaki color could do that I don't really know what would go good with uh, that there. It's maybe black. You know, with a black roof and the black trim around the window, because I know the hardware that I'm going to be going with is black. But uh, kind of where we're at right at the moment, and what it looks like with the wood being wet and kind of cleaned off. So, yeah, let me know what you think what we should do. You see the roosts that I made that are in there. And we'll get to the nesting boxes and how we're going to do that because we're going to use a couple milk crates. So we'll show everybody how we do that too. But that's what it looks like. Let me know what you think about uh, a trim color. And once again, it is all honestly pallet wood. Just cut up different pieces heck you can actually see where I saw one across that one several times we'll catch you around